Hi everyone, it's Martin again and Rexy here from the Dinosaur Experience in Watson, in Louisiana. And before we start today, I've got a special thank you. Rexy insisted we made a special thank you because he had so much fun at Elizabeth's birthday party. That's right, you Elizabeth. We had so much fun, Rexy and Nash, um, and really enjoyed meeting you and your mum and all your friends. And I hope you had as much fun as we all did. All right, that was fantastic. So we've got another book for you today. And today's book is called Phil and His Fabulous Feathers. And that's, that's written by Frank Blazek and illustrated by Wes Thomas. All right, so settle down. Um, it's worth half an AR point. So when you go back to school, you can get your points when you do the test. Um, and it's come up for you right now. Phil and his fabulous feathers. Down south, where the swamp grows thick, the alligators rest in the sun, and more birds that can be counted make their home. There lived a very special duck named Phil. Phil spent his days watching over his mate, gathering food and swimming, much as ducks do. But Phil had a very important job that he did every day. Phil had a fabulous crown of feathers, like no other duck. Feathers that stood tall on top of his head and pointed towards the sky. At the beginning of each day, Phil would collect some food for his mate, Chris, and immediately after that he would go down to the pond see his reflection and make sure his crown of feathers was perfect. Phil also tried to help the other ducks look their best each day and he was never too proud to help them with any work that might, they may have to do. Now not all the ducks wanted Phil's help. There was a group of fowl called the Rockheads who spent their time amongst themselves. They had no patience for any duck that was different, especially one that took the time to look so special. The rockheads were dirty ducks indeed. Being clean and looking good meant nothing to them. They would walk among the other ducks during the day, gathering food, swimming and quacking politely. But, for on, but when only the rockheads were together, they would say horrible things about the other ducks, especially Phil. They could not understand why Phil spent so much time making sure he looked his best every day and why all the other ducks liked him so much. One night, all the rockheads got together. They were acting silly after eating sour corn mash and they were fighting each other, as rockheads will do. Then, the leader of the Rockheads came up with a plan to teach Phil a lesson. They would go over and quietly pull Phil's crown off his head while he was asleep. They thought for sure that would show him who was better. After all, he was the most different of all the ducks. So that night, they did just that. The next morning, Phil collected food for his mate and made his way to the pond to fix his crown. As he arrived, he found his fabulous feathers had gone and all the rockheads stood at the side and laughed and made fun of Phil. They asked Phil what he would do now he was not so special. Who would care about him without his crown of feathers? They told him that he was just another duck. Now Phil was very sad indeed. Why would a group of ducks want to ruin his crown? But Phil knew what was really important, that he was kind to the other ducks. He was good to his mate, Chris, and he believed in himself. Phil continued to gather food for Chris and help all the other ducks. 
and even without his crown of feathers, he continued to make sure that he looked his best every day. As time went on, though, a wonderful thing happened to Phil. His crown of feathers grew back in even more beautiful than ever. Eventually, the Rockheads saw this new crown and began to make fun of Phil again. They told him they were going to get his feathers once more. Phil did his best to ignore them and held his head up, high with pride in who he was. One day, Phil was out collecting food for his mate when he saw one of the Rockheads being chased by an alligator. Without hesitation, Phil flew over to the alligator and rubbed his crown of feathers in the gator's eyes. The alligator went under the water to get away. From Phil and the rockhead was able to swim away safely. Phil immediately went to, Phil to fix his feathers so that he knew he looked his best that he could. And then he continued to collect food for his mate. Suddenly, Phil saw all the rockheads swimming towards him and he wondered what they would do to his feathers now. But when they reached Phil, they hugged him and they told him how much they loved his feathers and how thankful they were for what he had done to save one of them. Phil smiled and said it was no problem. But then he suggested that they clean themselves up and work on fixing their best feathers. He told them they never knew when their best feathers would come in handy. So, if you go down to where the swamp grows thick and the alligators lie in the sun, don't be surprised to see a very proud duck with a crown of feathers and the best looking rockhead ducks that you have ever seen trying to grow feathers of their own. Is that a good book? Yeah, it all came up well in the end, didn't they? They realised that they were being bad and nasty and the things that they were doing was really wrong. And it all came out well because Phil just stayed a good person and he kept trying and they realised how nice he was. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that party. Don't forget, like us and um, make sure you look for us on YouTube, like our YouTube page and subscribe and um, you'll see lots of Rexy here and lots of Nash, his bigger brother, um, on there and we'll be back really soon. We've got more stories to come. All right, hope you had a good time. Bye.